As the world surpasses the 1.8 million threshold in the number of coronavirus infections, countries are finding themselves at different stages of the outbreak. In Italy, the country at the epicenter of the crisis in Europe, Prime Minister Giuseppe Conte apologised to the nation for sustaining restrictions even over the Easter period. Italy has been under lockdown since the 9th of March and the Prime Minister is showing no signs of letting up. Proroghiamo le misure restrittive sino al 3 maggio. Una decisione difficile, ma una decisione necessaria di cui naturalmente mi assumo tutta la responsabilità politica. In Spain, the Spanish Prime Minister has relaxed restrictions in light of a recent dip in the number of COVID-19 deaths. The government is even concentrating on life post-coronavirus. They are now placing less serious coronavirus cases in hotels. Germany has seen a remarkably low rate of fatal cases. Unlike its European neighbours, intensive care units have not been put under pressure and the outbreak has mainly hit the younger parts of the population. But Angela Merkel still stresses that the country must stay disciplined. In the UK, Boris Johnson dragged his feet in taking precautions against the virus before being infected himself. The country has seen an average of 900 deaths a day. The UK is not under total lockdown, but citizens have been asked to respect the rules of social distancing. Across the pond during the early stages of the outbreak, President Donald Trump continued to shake the hands of his colleagues as a sign of defiance despite the spread of the disease. Now the crisis has become the biggest challenge of his career in office so far. The United States has now become the global epicenter of the fight against the coronavirus, with over 20,000 deaths being recorded across the country.